don't punish the countries in the world that support Gaza. Nicaragua has played a very important role in, they were the first country to join South Africa's case against Israel. They also had their own cases going against countries that are supplying arms and support to the state of Israel. Germany being the, the biggest one, but they also were prepared to go after the Netherlands until the Dutch government uh, courts ruled that, that the Netherlands should stop sending weapons and now they're, they have other countries in there that they're targeting as well. Uh, Nicaraguan government has a lot of experience in the International Court of Justice and they're using that knowledge to do what they can to support the Palestinian people and this is another reason why the United States is targeting Nicaragua and why we must uh, support Nicaragua's efforts and stop, as people in the United States, we have a responsibility to stop our government from these retaliatory and illegal actions that it's taking to try to harm the people, particularly the most vulnerable of Nicaragua. It's atrocious and we don't support it. I'm here today because I'm very proud of the way that Nicaragua has been speaking up against the genocide in Gaza and taking care of its own people. And of course, that's related. You're able to take care of your people when you stop sending millions and billions of dollars to create war and genocide on other peoples. And I think it's time that our U.S. representatives and senators learn that lesson from Nicaragua. We'd love to see if the U.S. can't help Nicaragua, the least it could do is to keep its hands off the country. That's right. So we're here to say no more sanctions. Take them all off.